ישראל אהרוני שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you. ישראל, you are about to uh, walk on stage to narrate the Israeli Philharmonic Orchestra's concert in jeans. This is indeed a great honor that the Philharmonic bestows on Israel's most famous and beloved people. And you are definitely one of them. It seems that tonight the Israeli Philharmonic has chosen a maestro, but in another field. The Israeli cuisine. Well, actually, I, I find a lot in common between music and cooking, you know, because uh, music, I think, music and cooking are a very ancient forms of mixing things together, taking raw materials and combine them together according to your talent, perception, thoughts, and so on, to something wonderful and it, and it's best even divine. So, and since I'm a DJ also, I can tell you there is a lot of common between DJing, mixing, and remixing, and cooking and re-cooking, because after all, what we do, we take old stuff, we tear them apart, we put them together really according to our talents and our interpretation, and that goes for music too, definitely. And according to my wife, every dish you have been creating for the last 30, maybe even more than that years, is a symphony well, thank of you. tastes, very nice. of colors, so you of see there influences. Is a lot of Although I'm very, you know, I'm experienced in hosting and being on stages, but I'm really, really very excited about this one because I never thought in my wildest dreams that I'm going to be in the same stage with the Philharmonic ever. You know, it's so strange for me, and I'm so honored. So I'm very excited. And in a way, not only that you can find a bridge that exists between the culinary culture and the musical culture. When one thinks about your roots, Israel, Bukhara comes to mind, and Bukhara is indeed a meeting place between cultures, yeah, always, okay. always has been. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, the uh, Uzbekistan, the cities of Bukhara and Samarkand are in the center of the famous Silk Road, which was which was a cultural bridge between East and West. And that was really the meeting point of cultures between East and West. That's why it's so unique and wonderful. And this is the time to tell our viewers that uh, you have studied arts yeah. in Amsterdam. Yes, I did. And you studied oriental cooking in Chinese Taiwan. Cooking in Taiwan. In Taiwan. Yeah. Many years ago, everybody thought I went out of my mind because on that time, nobody thought being a chef as a, as a profession, it was just not, not counted in any, any way, you know. So when I decided to leave everything and go study cooking, everybody thought I got crazy. And when they had I went study Chinese cooking, which nobody knew anything about it then, they thought I'm double crazy. And when, I, and when they heard that I'm leaving to Taiwan to do that, they really thought I freaked out, but I wasn't. It will be safe to blame you, Israel, for introducing Chinese uh, cuisine oh, to nice. Israelis. I'm proud of it. And I'm more proud. than that, more than that, I think during the years you have managed to teach Israelis, or rather to educate them, how to acquire a variety of tastes. Well, I think that's part of my job, actually, you know, because every uh, workmanship or, or art. Uh, our duty is to pass our knowledge to others, otherwise it's no good. And this is the time, the best time to say, that you have been doing this very effectively via newspapers, television, 20 cookbooks yeah. you have written yourself, full of wonderful well, recipes. Who counts, you know. Thank you, thank you. I sit corrected. Uh, I think it will be safe to describe you as an icon, one of the icons of Israeli culture. Please go on, go on, keep saying that, compliment. I that like it. includes the Israeli cuisine. Thank you. And who is better than you, Israel, to try and explain or describe the almost unbelievable 
evolution of the Israeli cuisine in the last 30 years? Well, it is really amazing because, you know, we are a fairly young country, so in the classical terms of cuisine, we are not old enough in order to create cuisine in that sense. But although we are a very young country, we are a very old nation, so we had a lot of many different Jewish ethnic cuisines in this tiny little place, which is unique. I don't think there is anything any, any else world in the world that in a such small area there is an amazing variety of cuisine, all different from each other, and it seems like they have nothing in common except the fact that they are all Jewish cuisine, which is very significant for that matter. And, and I think that's a very unique, and that's the base of what we are calling Israeli food, because the new chefs took those traditional cuisine, converted them to modern way, and to Israeli in a way, and, and that creates a very, very interesting cuisine, which can't really find in many other places in the world. Normally, the professional term to describe a mixture of different influences and tastes will be fusion. Maybe in the Israeli case we can use confusion. I don't think it is confusion. And fusion thing, although it's a new term in the culinary world, actually has been done for decades already, for centuries around the world, you know. It's, it has been done in a much slower way and in a much deeper way than modern times because of the mean of communications and transportations are so fast these days so the influences are much faster and, and, and rapid but fusion cuisine has been done since the dawn of history actually. And when it comes to uh, the Jewish world and the young, relatively young Israeli nation, food is very important the famous saying about what do all Jewish holidays have in common? They try to kill us, we survived, let's eat. Yeah, yeah, but you know, but I think many cultures in there have, you know, festive food for their holidays or special occasions. And Jewish are no Jewish culture is no different than any others. We are obliged to eat very well on Shabbat and in holidays and in ceremonies either private or communal ones, and that's part of our culture. Israel, what is Israeli food in your eyes? Or, which is your favorite, if you can choose? No, I cannot. Really, I cannot. But I don't, Israeli food is a really amazing mix of what I told you before, the different ethnic cuisine melted into each other, transformed into more than today's ways, and that's, that's remarkable, I think. I'm afraid I have to go in a minute. Israel, I want to thank you very much for thank taking you. the time and wish you, you a wonderful success on stage. Thank you, I hope so. I'm excited as I told you. Shalom, shalom.